So you've probably heard about the real estate market and what's been happening. Um, I would probably, I'd say probably since November, December, 2020, the market has just been um, unbearable for some folks. Uh, we're at an all time low of inventory. I've written a few different blogs on inventory levels or whatnot, but basically less than a month, probably less than two weeks of inventory on the market now. Um, so what I'm going to do is this, the real scoop, what I've seen for the past five months or so, I'm going to put some verbiage right when I start a new section um, to discuss. And hopefully this video will only be a couple minutes, but if something is, does not relate to you or you just want to go to the next section, you can sc scroll to the next um, when you see the verbiage pop up for the video. So the current market, <clears throat> what we're seeing is very low inventory. It's probably because of COVID, maybe. There's other factors that go into it, but basically inventory is just so low. And, um, you know, it, it creates certain issues. So basically what we are seeing in the market now is, uh, first of all, coming soon offers. Um, what will happen typically is an offer or a house will be made coming soon, a week or two, whatever, to get a little exposure. Then on Thursday, it'll go live. Basically, you have Thursday, Friday, I mean, I'm sorry, Thursday night, they'll probably make it live. And Friday, you have Friday, Saturday, and maybe some of Sunday to get an appointment. We used to be have an hour to show a house. Now you've got 15 minutes to get in and out, and you have to schedule it early. So then on Sunday, we'll get a notice saying if you, if you schedule to show the property, the listing agent um, will send a message out saying, you, you know, highest and best offers do Sunday at five o'clock. Bring us your highest and best. Now it's not even a question when you look at a house, do you have offers? You should assume no matter the shape, condition, whatever of the house that it's going to have multiple offers. So you should ha submit your highest and best offer. Um, so basically, coming soon offers, that's a whole nother thing. But what we're seeing now is when a house is coming soon, people will make an offer on a coming soon house, sight unseen. So you cannot look at the house if it's coming soon. You cannot make an appointment until it's active. You can make an appo appointment while it's coming soon for the day it becomes active and you can see it. But some people are making an offer on the house while it is coming soon and some sellers are entertaining those offers uh, the you know there's risk and benefits I was about to get into I'm not gonna get into it but you know if you're working with me call me to discuss that if you have a different agent you want to talk to them about that uh, what they would recommend but coming soon offers is a whole different um, ball game so the the debate the um, you know the conversation in my industry basically uh, is people were making offers 20, 30, 40, 50, even more than that, higher than list price. So the argument or the debate is a lot of people are saying that it's just like investing in the stock market now. They're not thinking they're throwing away money, giving 20 or 30 more to the seller. They're thinking of it as they are, you know, investing this because prices will continue to go up. Um, and then the, uh, the, thing about the the market now is one argument or debate is conversation is this market has been way underpriced forever so you know if you're coming from like Philadelphia LA um, Pittsburgh bigger cities than Raleigh they look at our market and think the house, housing here has been dirt cheap for years so the price is going up so much they're not necessarily thinking you're paying too much. They're thinking we're catching up to the rest of the, um, of the country. So best offer practices, what I'm seeing, um, and this depends, you know, you want to talk to your realtor about that, how you would uh, submit the offer, uh, but in meaning your terms, but we're seeing very high due diligence fees. It used to be $500, $2,000. $2,000 used to be a lot. Now, $10,000. $20,000, 30, 40, 50. Um, if you don't submit something like at least $10,000, it almost seems like it's very hard to compete. And that's just a due diligence fee. Another topic, you do get that back if you close, you lose it if you walk. 
in most cases. So that's something to consider for what we're seeing. The crystal ball, uh, I don't see this as it was uh, 15 years ago, 12 years ago, 13 years ago. I don't really see it as a bubble and a recession's coming. That's a whole different argument when you talk about the economy and other factors, but as far as the real estate market's concerned, I think we'll have continued appreciation um, because Apple, Google, Amazon, everybody's coming here. The people were worried it's gonna be the next Silicon Valley. Um, the housing market in general, I do not see it as, um, you know, we're gonna have a bubble. They're the last, uh, bubble we had the recession that was more due to the uh, mortgage industry and certain things going on there i see prices continuing to rise because of everything happening in the area the thing now though which makes it so hard to buy a house is the inventory is so low so basically when nothing's out there to buy it's very very challenging and the people that are really suffering the most are um, gosh, anybody's got to get a loan for the most part, but you know, first time buyers, um, if you're not putting more than 10, 20% down on a loan, um, you know, part of what we're seeing is with offers is, uh, an appraisal addendum attached to the offer, which really doesn't mean anything legally. You, you, it doesn't change the offer. Basically, you're just saying you're going to cover the appraised price to the contract price, because if you make an offer on a $200,000 house, it appraises it. And you offered 220, but the house appraised at 200. Then, in this market, you're expected to come up with that money. So, um, you know, there's a lot of different things going on, but I think we'll continue to have higher prices rise up. You know, the prices continue to rise. But I hope, and I don't really think, and I don't see how it can sustain this market is continued um, low inventory levels. I, uh, one thing I think is since. We're towards the end of COVID and people are getting vaccinated. Sellers are going to be more open to selling their house and, um, you know, just changing all around. So hopefully we're at the tail end of this housing debacle we're in. It's not everybody thinks most realtors are just totally killing it. And it's not true. It's there's so little inventory out there. Um, it makes it that much harder on everybody. So just want to give a quick update. You know how to reach me if you need me? Call me.